It took a couple weeks to actually get my son Damien alone and ask him what was going on with him and his wife. My husband was right. I should have just left it alone. It took some poking. It took me showing all the evidence I had acquired. Initially, Damien thought that his father Claude had let it slip. I assured him that was not the case. Quite the opposite, actually. Eventually, he told me everything. Kylie is not a former escort. When he told me that I felt this relief wash over me, it was very short-lived. She is a current escort. She is his escort. Their entire relationship is just a business transaction. He pays her $177.15 an hour. The 500k transfer was a wedding bonus. Grand was what Damien bought for the 750k three years ago. They sat down and negotiated the price of producing a grandchild. Damien wants a second child, which is what the most recent 750k is for... I'm sure I had the dumbest look on my face while he was telling me all this. I can't wrap my head around it. It's absolutely insane. It all makes sense, though. Her income and tax filings, the townhouse she owns, the fact that she spends less than half the nights at their home, she's off the clock. I asked so many questions about their whole dynamic, and Damien was surprisingly forthcoming. If she is there with him or at his house, she is on the clock. If she is doing anything with any part of the extended family, she is on the clock. Basically, any time she is pretending to be a member of our family, she is on the clock. She gets to keep any gift she receives from anyone. Damien will keep their house as if they all live there full time. Basically, foods she likes will be on hand. She will have hygiene products there, etc. During the time she is on the clock, she is available to him at any time. They make a two-week schedule of when she will stay overnight. If he wants to change this and have her stay overnight on an unplanned evening, he can request this, but she has the option of refusal. This is just the regular everyday stuff. Vacations, family gatherings and other special events are all assumed time in which Kylie will attend, unless they are on unreasonably short notice. When it comes to Grand, they both consider him their child and love him. They look at it like it's co-parenting. She has primary custody and is with him almost full time. They do employ a nanny as well for when they are both busy or Kylie needs a break. Damien assures me she sees Grand as her child and will never give up custody of him. I strangely believe this as everything I have ever seen is that she is a wonderful mother. I asked what will happen if their arrangement ends. Damien said, Then we will continue on similar to amicably divorced parents who maintain a friendship. Neither of us wants him to be without both of his parents. And there was so much more to it, I didn't get too much in the personal part because it was weird for both of us. He did answer the billion-dollar question, why it all started during his junior year of college, Damien was always popular. He keeps to himself, but when you're rich and handsome, you will attract attention. He told me he always dated, contrary to what everyone thinks about him. He does want to be with someone special. He told me every time he had a girlfriend, it would always come back to what he could give them. Every time he began to sense they were after something else. Which I know when you have the wealth that we do, you always attract this type of person. Then, a friend put him onto the escort service. They were very discreet. That is how he met Kylie. Kylie apparently offered something called a girlfriend experience. I, I guess normally there are a lot of rules surrounding what you can and can't do with an escort. When you pay for the girlfriend experience, you get the treatment a regular boyfriend might get. I kind of regret asking what that meant, but essentially, unprotected sex, kissing, deep conversations, etc. I did ask if he got tested, and he told me they both did before starting that initial arrangement. After about a month of this, Damien said he was really enjoying their relationship. He offered her the deal, which was to make the girlfriend experience a full-time job. He agreed to the term of $100 an hour back then. That would increase each year that they kept the arrangement going. He would provide for all necessities and accommodations during their time together. She would be available as much as possible and accompany him to family functions, work events, etc. He told me she is very professional and puts in the effort to learn how to interact with our socio-economic class. When I asked about the major life events, he just told me he wanted to get married and have kids. She was willing to do this for the appropriate price. He knows they aren't legally married, but he got to have the wedding he always wanted, and said it was nice because for once he got to be the first kid to reach a milestone. He likes their relationship. Damien said, It's amazing, everyone gets what they want. I got the marriage I always wanted without all the drama and turmoil that comes with it. She is the perfect partner every hour of every day. She has been a part of our lives for seven years. I just can't believe this whole time it was just a job. I am heading out now to have a real conversation with Kylie about all of this. My son made her aware of my knowledge in this matter. I'm hoping to see the real Kylie during this conversation, and not just the perfect daughter-in-law part that she plays.